No, you are not going nonverbal. Before you judge my hair or the fact that I am drinking hot chocolate at 11 in the morning, please don't. When people judge me, I have a tendency to start crying. And also, I've been on a plane for the last forever. But while I was checking my bags, I came across a video. And in this video, a person was talking to their ADHD friend who was apparently going nonverbal. No, I'm not going to include the video because I've seen videos like this from multiple creators. This is not a singular creator problem for which a singular creator deserves a call out. This is a problem with both the autism community and the ADHD community where we say things like going nonverbal. And not only are there several problems with ADHD people insinuating that ADHD causes a person to go nonverbal, there is a problem with the autism community saying the words going nonverbal in the first place. Do autistic people experience times where they cannot speak? Absolutely. But nonverbal itself is not a verb. A person cannot go nonverbal. Nonverbal is an adjective to describe a person who lacks the capability of speaking. Which is why many autistics with higher support needs who are nonverbal a majority of the time have asked us to stop using the term going nonverbal. Because there is no such thing as going nonverbal. What you are experiencing when you are experiencing a time where you physically cannot speak is verbal shutdown. And I feel as though this needs to be said, especially to non-autistic communities, just because you don't feel verbal does not mean you are experiencing verbal shutdown. Verbal shutdown is a period of time in which an autistic person physically cannot speak, no matter how hard they try. When I am experiencing sensory overwhelm and having a meltdown, I have verbal shutdown as well. No matter how hard I try during this period, I physically cannot speak, even if I wanted to words would not come out of my vocal cords. Because again, I'm experiencing complete verbal shutdown at the time. So how do you know if you are experiencing verbal shutdown? If you can speak, but only with minor difficulty, you are likely not experiencing verbal shutdown. You're just not feeling very verbal and maybe you're overwhelmed by the thought of speaking and that's okay too. That is often a result of trauma, but verbal shutdown is a very specific experience. And it is very important that we use these terms correctly because when they are overused in situations such as just not feeling verbal, it diminishes people's ability to understand, once again, that when a person is experiencing true verbal shutdown, they cannot speak and you shouldn't try and force them. So please, if you're going to use terms, use them correctly. Oh my god, that's good cocoa.